Hi there, Denny here from Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. It is February of 2023, just for a little time stamp on today's video. And it was recently announced that Trails End Restaurant would be closing at some point in the spring. Now, that space is gonna become a bit of a quick service marketplace kind of venue, which likely will be really good for campers and guests here at the resort. The news that the restaurant is closing has me a bit misty-eyed. My family has enjoyed so many wonderful meals here from birthday breakfasts to graduation um, commemorations, just, you know, marking special days here. And whether we're getting here via the watercraft or parking in the parking lot and taking transportation, the internal bus through, it doesn't matter. It's always a great experience. So tonight, this will be my last supper, my last dinner at Trails End Restaurant, likely, unless I try to cram in another one right before um, it closes. So I thought I'd maybe I would uh, take you along for the ride, take you along for the meal. I hope you're hungry because we're going to have a whole lot of food. So the way that service goes now is you are served as a family. So family style food. Um, we'll go through it all at the table. I'll show you a little bit of the in restaurant experience and then we'll review afterward. Let's go. Yay! Yeah, I was holding my phone. I was just ready to say, okay, I'm going to have to look at a little bit. Oh, We're at our table, which is on the lower level of Trails End Restaurant. There are two levels here to the restaurant. I'll, I'll show you around, I'm sure, at some point during this video. We're on the lower level. The lighting is kind of low, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> The salad has arrived at our table. Now here, remember, it's family style service. And so the salad too is family style. It's um, torn leaf, there's some spinach going on, some iceberg, it's, it's a melange of lettuces here at Trails End. But then it also has shredded cheese on it, it has sliced tomatoes, sliced cucumbers, a little bit of onion in there, a little bit of everything going on. Cornbread croutons. Let that sink in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the dressing that comes on the side is bacon vinaigrette. I've got my little plate here. They give you a couple plates here at the table and you do you. And if you would like more salad when all is said and done, you can ask for more salad, which is a lovely thing. A little bit of everything. It's a simple salad, but it is really good. It's nice and fresh. And that bacon vinaigrette really is the standout. It's sweet. It's not overly bacony. It's perfect. Um, and also, sometimes with a Disney vinaigrette, it can lean to being way too light on the flavor. This doesn't. This is really nice. It was quite enjoyable. And I'm going to finish my salad. And then I'm going to have some more. So that's what I get to do at Trails End. <laughs> so one of the things that Trails End is really famous for is their moonshine or their pog juice. They make it in batches at breakfast. They don't at dinner, but they can make you a single serving. So cheers. Mm. So good. And so, so Trails End. <laughs> we have also been given our cornbread here to the table. Now the cornbread comes with a honey butter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try real quick. We've got four triangles of cornbread and grab a little bit of honey butter here. Here we go. Little, little bit of cornbread and a little, little bit of honey butter. Listen, I'm a fan of Trails and cornbread. It's got a nice little, just a glossy exterior, slightly toasty on top. The honey butter is really nice. It's come to the table a little cold. So maybe give it a few minutes to warm up. It's a chilly evening, so it might take a few extra minutes. But that's a great cornbread. It's, um, it's not too thick, so if you don't like a really big, thick 
piece of cornbread that might tend to be dry, then you're really gonna like this. Not dry at all, really delightful. And the cornbread becomes the croutons for the salad when the day is done, so it's a win-win. So one of the changes that happened when Trails End closed um, due to the pandemic is when it reopened, they introduced the skillet family style service, like we've talked about already. It's family style, right? So our main skillet has just arrived to the table. Um, and in it, you'll find smoked chicken, you'll find pulled pork, brisket. Also, you'll find potatoes, just little, little white potatoes, um, and green beans and corn on the cob. And so I have a little bit of everything here on my plate. I'm also still eating my salad. It's okay. <laughs> so here's a little bit of everything that I've got on my plate and I'm gonna just try it real quick and see how it is. I'm gonna go for this um, pulled pork first. Oh, I'm so glad I said that because it reminded me I have two sauces. They bring with every um, entree skillet, two sauces. Carolina mustard based sauce. We tend to lean to a, a mustard based, like a vinegary sauce over, you know, a typical barbecue sauce. But this is chipotle barbecue sauce. So I'm going to definitely try that. I have to, right? Um, just to see how spicy it is. There we go. It's got a nice little kick. I'm going to try the mustard based barbecue sauce now. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yes, that one's my favorite. <laughs> the mustard based barbecue sauce is absolutely so good. That pulled pork is fan. Fantastic. So part of what you'll get in your skillet is half of a chicken. I've got some of that chicken here. It's a smoked chicken. Bottoms up. Something quirky about me. I don't like meat on the bone. I just don't. It's a little thing I've got. I've always had it pretty much my entire adult life. It's just not my thing. It's okay, right? Again, this is me justifying all of my eating here at this restaurant this is what this is this is a support group that's what this is turning into but that being said this chicken is really i'm sorry moist it is moist and it's it's good it's got a nice flavor to it it's smoky without being overly so and i like it i like it let's try this brisket here's my little piece of brisket okay that's really nice it's got a bit of marbling a bit of fat on the other side this one piece does so if that's not your thing you can always ask for probably a leaner piece but it's really it's really pretty good and this dunked in that carolina mustard barbecue sauce yes please yes um let me grab a potato real quick they're nice soft potatoes so the inside of the potato just a little bit of sweetness the outside a little bit of saltiness these potatoes are so good we were last here in August, and I and I got more potatoes. <laughs> you can get extra. Green bean? It's an al dente green bean. Not my favorite thing in the skillet, but it is what it is. We're going to try the corn. Here we go. Corn is really good. It's perfectly done, beautifully buttery. It's what you want corn on the cob to be. I'm making such a mess here at this table. It's ridiculous. Again, that's okay, right? <laughs> Dessert has landed on the table, and basically you are given a trio of smaller size mason jars, like a taste, a sampling of desserts. So we have Fort Chocolate Mousse. Chocolate Mousse, we are eating in a fort right now. And then banana pudding, and then candied apple pie. That's what we've got going on here right now. Let me show you the candied apple pie. So you've got some crust going on. <laughs> you have some crust going on. A piece of candied apple on top. Or like rock sugar. You know what I mean. Then banana. I mean, look how pretty that is. That's just lovely. It really is. 
And then of course the Fort Chocolate Mousse has toasted marshmallow. I love that toasted marshmallow. It makes me think of the, you know, how you can make s'mores over at the sing-along, the Chippendale sing-along and movie that they do here at the Fort. I also have a cup of decaf. It's decaf tonight because we need to sleep this evening. We got plans tomorrow. People got plans. <laughs> No insomnia tonight. Okay, we've got Fort Chocolate Mousse. Believe it or not, <laughs> there is some chocolate. I promise. Here we go. Number one, that toasted marshmallow on top of that is so, so good. A nice, lovely touch. Second of all, there are chocolate chips hidden in there. I did not know we're a part of that. Banana pudding is next. Off we go. It's almost too pretty to, <laughs> to eat. Almost. And here goes the candied apple pie. I'm going to scoop a bunch of that onto my plate. What is not to love about banana pudding? The only thing that could make it better is if it had a Nilla wafer on it. <laughs> Holy cow. Banana pudding is something I never think about. It. <laughs> like never until I have it. And then I go, yeah, it's so good. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have some of the candied apple pie. It's got crumbles of crust in it. So that's fun. It's got apple pie filling in it. Little chunks of apple. That's pretty good. I like that. I think the banana pudding is the fave, but I gotta keep eating. Ooh, slightly spiced. Ooh, I got some of the spiciness from the apples. Slightly spiced. <laughs> The meal here at Trails End is done, and to be really honest, <laughs> I am sad. <laughs> um, leaving this restaurant for what will likely be the last time is sad. It's uh, it's got me a little bit clumped. But I do want to stop and, and talk about the meal that I just had inside. Um, it's funny, it's, you have to think back, and I, I mentioned it, I know, at the table, but pre-2020, pre-March 2020, Trails End was known for its buffet. Whether it was at breakfast or at dinner, you, know, you knew you could roll in there and get a great meal like <laughs> great and a lot of food like a lot of food after the restaurant reopened it was it was service family style at the table in the skillets the breakfast i enjoy that greatly like it doesn't matter give me a mickey waffle and some eggs and some sausage and um a carb or two or three and They've got strawberry butter, strawberry honey butter, so good. Like, I really enjoyed breakfast. And then of course, some of the things that you would find on the buffet at dinner time have been, you know, kind of translated into this all you can eat um, skillet. And it's not even really a skillet. I'm calling it a skillet. It's like a, <laughs> it's a metal pot with two handles. Their cornbread is still here. It's still good and let's, Let's just talk about the meal now that I've gotten some of the history and the emotions of all of it out, although I'm sure there'll be other emotions. So even though Trails End is no longer a buffet, oh, we've got Watercraft honking the horn. Back in the day, it was the least expensive buffet on Walt Disney World property. It's still a great value because you get, it's an all you care to eat meal for $31.99 per adult before tax and gratuity in $18.99 per child. So when you're kind of measuring out value and weighing out your Disney food dollars, that goes pretty far. So going over the meal, and I know I gave a snapshot of everything at the table, but let's go through it real quick. Number one, non-alcoholic beverages are included, like sodas, water, coffee, tea, and the like are included in your the price of your meal. Also, moonshine, like the non-alcoholic moonshine, <laughs> pog juice, jungle juice, it's available here. Again, you can, it's upon request at dinner, and those are all refillable. 
which is pretty great right off the bat. The first thing that's gonna land on your table is that salad. That salad is so good. And again, that bacon vinaigrette, I have no notes. The salad was incredibly fresh. Everything in it, um, top notch. And I asked for seconds and I ate them. <laughs> I ate so much salad today. It was so good. The skillet cornbread is the next thing to land on the table with that delectable honey butter. Skillet cornbread is just, it's, it's like perfect cornbread. I'm not the world's biggest cornbread fan. I like cornbread. I don't like when it's like super thick because then it tends to dry out. The skillet cornbread is perfect. And that honey butter, I asked for an extra piece. <laughs> See, this is all you care to eat. It's the beauty of all you care to eat. I asked for a, an extra piece of cornbread and Amber, our wonderful server, uh, brought out one extra piece of cornbread and she brought out an extra little thing of honey butter. So I had a whole new fresh thing of honey butter for that one piece of cornbread and I got as much honey butter on that one piece of cornbread as I possibly could. I enjoyed it. The smokehouse skillet is the next thing to arrive at the table. Pecan smoked uh, brisket, there's smoked uh, chicken as well, and there's pulled pork, um, roasted potatoes, green beans, and corn on the cob. That pulled pork, so good. That's the, for me, that's the standout. We asked for an extra helping of brisket and of uh, pulled pork and enjoyed it. The corn on the cob was right on the money. It was just what you want it to be. D not overly done, not underdone, and beautifully buttered. Perfect. Those potatoes, like I said, sweet and salty at the same time and incredibly good, incredibly good. Again, brisket, I could, it, it's okay. That chicken, I could take it or leave it, but that's my personal personal preference, that pulled pork. That pulled pork is so good. Um, moving on to dessert, the trio of desserts was delightful. It's just a little bit of everything. And, and you think, you might think when it lands on the table, it, that's not a lot. It is a lot. It actually is, especially after your big meal. The banana pudding was my favorite. And listen, I was beyond overjoyed to find that there are Nilla wafers in the bottom of the banana pudding <laughs> mason jar. So uh, if you're able to come to Trails End before it closes, hang in there with that banana pudding. That, those, there are Nilla wafers in the box. <laughs> like, like I was back in kindergarten again, so happy that there are Nilla wafers involved in my dessert. If you are coming back here in the next couple of months to Trails End, or if you come to Hoop De Do Review, if you park here, you do need a reservation, number one. Um, to get past the guard shack, as you would expect. You'll be able to park in the parking lot and then you're gonna take the internal bus. And sometimes people may not realize how long it takes to get back here. It's about a 10 minute bus ride. You might need to wait a minute for a bus. Um, I've never had to wait very long for the internal bus. You won't be the only stop. Like it doesn't just, you know, directly come. It might have other little stops to make on the way. So just bear that in mind, but it's a lot of fun even getting back here. Even being here at Fort Wilderness and taking the internal bus is just a whole lot of fun to get to do. Here at Trails End, you are right next to Pioneer Hall. So you might see big groups of guests waiting to get into Pioneer Hall for their seating of the Hoop Dee Doo re musical review. Also the top tier of trails and you'll be able to see where the buffet was. The buffet um, structure is still there. It is currently being used um, for P&J's takeout. All in all, it was incredibly good to be back here tonight. It just was. Attractions come and attractions go and sometimes I get um, attached to them. I think we all do as Disney Parks fans but we can also get pretty daggone connected to the restaurants as well. And like I said earlier, my family has had some pretty great meals here over the years and marked pretty special occasions. This is, um, this is a place that I've kickstarted my birthday, like <laughs> staying 
staying across the water, getting on the watercraft and coming over here and meeting family for breakfast um, or for dinner. I've, I've, I've spent family birthday dinners here. This is just a very special place. And a lot of the fun of it is in the getting out here, is in the journey to get out to Fort Wilderness. Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground is just of its own a very special place. And so is Trails End. So thank you, Trails End, the team at Trails End, the cast members, always welcoming, always down to earth, always, um, always, always making us feel very at home. We are so thankful for you and for everything you've done over the years. Thank you for making magic at Trails End Restaurant. Um, I look forward to seeing what it becomes and of course, eating the food. <laughs> and um, I hope to be able to take you along for the journey. As I'm sitting here, the electrical water pageant is going by. <laughs> it's all dark, but you can see the barges, the floats going by right now. This is, Fort Wilderness is a special place. And so is Trails End. Let me know down in the comments section below, did you enjoy Trails End? Was it on your list? And are you looking forward to what it becomes? Take good care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, follow me on Instagram at Denny underscore Sunderly. That's D-E-N-I underscore S-U-N-D-E-R-L-Y. Please consider liking and subscribing to this video. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put up new videos. And also please consider sharing this with a friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your time. Via Condias. Trails end. We love you. Take good care, everyone. Bye.